heck? Nah, dude, I don't know what the hell just happened. All right, guys, we gotta figure out what just happened. This is not good. Okay, the status right now is we're heading home. The car was able to start up, but it's still acting up. It's like it's like stuck in boost, which is odd. Uh, don't know what the full issue is, but as long as I stay in the RPMs, I'm able to move the car. I cannot get out of the RPMs, otherwise I think it's gonna shut off again. I have yet to know, but I'm just trying to drive it back to my house to at least get it in the front of my house, and then uh, we'll figure out we'll figure out from there. Uh, other than that, I mean. <laughs> It's never ending, it's part of the journey, and you know guys, I mean, it is what it is. We'll figure out the issue though. Sad day, F in the chat, but uh, we'll figure it out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, gotta keep it, gotta keep it, gotta keep it. Ugh, this is hard, this is difficult. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out guys. I don't know what the complete issue is so far. Uh, I don't hear any rod knock, nothing. So, I mean, really, who knows? Oh no, it's no, 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 no. I no, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. We were, we were so close, we were so close. We were so close, everything just shut off again. We were so close, okay. Okay. Let's try this again. So I did not get to film it, but we're back in the garage. I was able to start it up one last time and get it in the garage. We're gonna figure out what the issue is tomorrow. Uh, the code that did pop up was P006A, which says that it could be a dirty math sensor or something. Uh, but we're gonna have to diagnose a little bit more and see what the issue is. But at least she's back in the garage. Um, I was trying to get a whole night video for you guys of me driving the SI. And uh, then we have this unexpected problem that happened. So it's all uh, trial and error, guys. But we'll figure we'll figure out the issue. At least she's safe in the garage, and uh, we don't have to get a tow truck. All right, what's up, guys? So today is the very next day, and uh, we've been pretty negligible on checking out the car. Actually, it's not the next day. What am I saying? It's been like three days since this car's been sitting here since that video. Uh, so obviously, what you guys saw what happened last time is uh, we were driving something. I believe popped off because this all occurred after doing a pull. So it's either my assumption is some sort of leak within the map sensor or the math sensor or something beyond that. Either that or something's dirty, but I know when starting the car, it's not getting the correct air fu fuel ratio uh, because it's like sputtering. So that's definitely, there, there's something, especially since it happened during a pull, it's gotta be something in that field. Uh, we're gonna figure this out together. Hopefully we solve it. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the hood, we're gonna start the car, we're gonna inspect everything and see what we got going on. On top of that, ignore the, uh, <laughs> the stickers on the car. We did have drop four release, actually today. So here's one, here's one, and there's another one. All release for drop four, if you guys haven't seen it on the Fong Pack site. You guys can go check that out as well, plus more stuff as well. But uh, let's go ahead and put this in, see what's going on inside. There's still coolant, so nothing in that field. But something must have popped off. Probably looking on the map. We'll just see if she starts up. It's been about, I think, three days since we've actually uh, started her. So she's definitely super cold. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll find out right now. Let's see if it sputters or it starts. That was not a pleasant sound at all. That was very, 
very unpleasant. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my boy Lewis at BCD Racing. We're going to see if he can help me diagnose what the issue is. And uh, yeah, SI is back to having some issues once again. <laughs> But it's all good. Uh, one of the things that has been known that I probably haven't introduced to the channel, which also could be the main issue, is the head gasket is possibly blown once again. Uh, the main factor being is because with these ARP head studs, they actually don't fit properly and they utilize basically spacers. Uh, with these spacers, they don't really seal correctly all that well, uh, so they're known to kind of uh, still pop off and blow the head gasket and, not, uh, and, and basically have it leak a little bit. Um, I have seen and monitor the coolant it has been going down a bit but as far as that um, that could po possibly be the issue and we could be looking at a flood piston or uh, you know something in that factor or just something that I'm not seeing here with that noise though I mean it could be the worst case and even if so it's not that big of a deal we'll just pop open the uh, entire thing and uh, you know get it fixed up so we'll have to find out though hopefully uh, I'm hoping that is the issue then, because then it'd be an easier fix, or not easier fix, but then it's something that we've already are aware of, and we can get that fixed. But at the time being, it looks like everything is connected, there's no leaks, and yeah, we're going to have to call the expertise here, because um, yeah, that could be it. But it's all good, guys. Trial and error. This is what happens when you, uh, when you want to modify your car. It's not always going to be 100% and things are always going to go wrong. It happens. It's all about maintenance and just upkeep. What, what do you got going on there? Building a block? Yeah, building motors, you know? Hey, nice, nice. Uh, well, hey, check it out. I got something that I want you to hear and I want your input on. Uh, so, you know, obviously I told you about the issues before. We're just going to start the car right now, so we're going to see what the issues are. But I want you to hear it and let me know what you think, okay? Uh-huh. All right, let's start it up. I'll show you. I'll place you with the camera, fuck it. That was different than the last time. Before I heard like a squeaking noise. Um, it sounded like a piston was like, it was a str it's struggling to move or something, I guess. I don't know, maybe it was just because it was cold. But then I just started right now and I didn't hear that noise anymore. It just struggling to start. Okay, well the piston struggling to start, that could be from the coolant getting in the rings, so it's losing lubrication, which could also be a, another factor to the head gasket. Right, but right. But then it's not doing that noise anymore. What happened? It's not doing that noise anymore. Yeah, because it probably already got re-lubricated. So it's just struggling to start. But there's coolant. There's, I checked the coolant. It's good. It has to stay, it's, still, it's still max. It hasn't gone down anytime soon? No, it hasn't gone down. So... Man, there's gotta be something then that's so what happened with the sensor issue i don't know I, I looked at one sensor it has a minor gap uh but i don't think i don't think that could be it okay well did you did, did the code still there no the code's not there anymore it went away yeah it's not popping up again Hmm. I'll probably just have to, I'll, I'll have to dig some more and diagnose some more, but, um, okay, so update after you guys saw me talking with Lewis, um, what's possibly going to happen is he's probably going to drop by tomorrow. We'll probably get a video too of that. We're going to diagnose it a lot more. He's going to be the more of the expertise to tell me what's going on and what's wrong. Because if you guys remember when we first started it, it had more of a squeaking noise. And I think it's because of, uh, it just being a lot more dry at the top. All the oil kind of fell through so there was no oil pressure but now it's not it's just having a struggle to start and uh, we'll you know we'll do it one more time so you guys can experience it with me but uh, let's see here one more time boom and then it's just dead all right so we're gonna stop doing that now so, uh, he's probably going to drop by tomorrow, we'll inspect it together, we'll figure out what the issue is, because yeah, definitely, something's finicky, something's going on weird, I'm probably not getting the right 
uh, air to fuel ratio right now. So, um, yeah, we'll figure out that tomorrow. We'll figure that, that out tomorrow. Hopefully he drops by. And uh, yeah, so again, just want to keep you guys updated. I hope this is not too much of a concern. But, uh, you know, again, guys, things are, are fixable. Things are repairable. So I'm not like, I'm not tripping out. Life is good. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm blessed. So uh, this is just part of the game. <laughs> um, on top of that, though, I just really want to thank you guys for sticking with me on the channel. There's a lot more to come. We're going to go ahead and fix this guy up. Aesthetic wise, we're going to go ahead and do a lot more. New wells, like I said, coming in. A second car for sure. And then on top of that, getting a 500 well as promised to you guys. So that's that is going to happen. That's possibly. That's going to happen. Just stick to stay tuned and uh, be patient with me. Okay, guys. Uh, there's a lot to happen on this whole project and this whole build and everything for the channel as we've now do dove into making this our journey. So uh, stick with me. There's, there's, there's going to be a lot to move forward to. Um, on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and be more active too with live streams so that way you guys can engage with me. So stick out and watch out for those. Those probably happen like later at night, uh, Pacific Standard Time. But uh, I definitely want to engage with you guys and do most of that. Um, on top of that, comment below what kind of stuff you guys would like to see like in live stream form. Um, I want to connect with you guys more. I want to engage with you guys more. So your comments mean a lot to me and just go ahead and comment below. Okay, guys. Um, on top of that, thanks for watching today's video. We will go ahead and check this back out tomorrow when Lewis drops by, but I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, family, keep grinding, stay humble. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.